an international speedway, the cars are going around the track and the cage is set up 15 foot high, steel cage. Also, EPW has called all the stars in from the USWF, Richard Burns. We got all the big stars in the new Lumberjack. We got Rocky Raymond. We're back better than ever. We're going to be going to the 12th and never because tonight, Savannah Sousa, this ain't about no New England title. This is about you and me a long time ago, and it keeps going around and around and around, no matter where it may be in New England. If it's in New York, if it's in Worcester, if it's in Connecticut, if it's in upstate New York, downstate New York, tonight, it's not about the New England title, Savannah Sousa. It's against me and you, and it's been a long time, and you're going down tonight. One, two, three, it's going to be me all over you like a grasshopper on a rainy day looking for food. And let me tell you one other thing, Sousa. Tonight's the last time you get in the ring with me because it's going to be all over. It's Rocky Raymond for good, and Susie, y'all going down. Rocky Raymond. <laughs> Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. What were you thinking, Rocky? Huh? You gonna turn your back on me, Christopher Grant, the manager of champions? You gonna say to everyone that I made the mistake, that I cost you your match with Virgil, the WWF star? No, no, son. The only mistake I made was thinking that you were the caliber of athlete to handle somebody like Virgil. Yeah, yeah. And you go turn and dump me, try and make me look bad? Guess what, playboy? I put in a little phone call. Yeah, I called someone that's your worst nightmare, my friend. I called a man that you have been shucking, ducking, and diving for years and years. Because you know why? You've known all along this man could take you and smash you from pillar to post like the punk you are. Yes, sirree. Come on in here, Savannah. <laughs> Surprise! You know, Sutton Rock, this isn't the first time for me and you, but I know one thing and I can guarantee it. Tonight, Thompson Speedway, 15-foot high steel cage, my boy. Me and you, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Through the years, we've chased each other, Tonight's the night, my friend, and as far, you know, you really make me laugh. The way that these cars go around the track, round and round, is the way that I'm going to take your face and rub it against that cage from pillar to post. I'm going to beat you like the dog that you are, because you never impressed me, Rocky. You never impressed me, and that's not face punk nephew of yours, Eric Frazier. You're just lucky that he's not in there with you, because I'd beat both of you. Tonight's the night, 15-foot high steel cage, Thompson Speedway, look in my eyes, my friend. They're the eyes of a man that's not well. And tonight, you're going to find out how sick I really am. <laughs> Enjoy the picnic, Rock. <laughs> Enjoy the cars going around the track. Enjoy the guy on the motorcycle jumping over the cars. Enjoy your fans and the people, all the little kids and the women coming up, cheering you on, Rock. Because after tonight, when my man gets finished squeezing that old decaying dinosaur body of yours from one side of that cage to the other. <laughs> it's all going to be over, my friend. Remember, Rock, we got an old saying back in Texas, and that is revenge is a dish that is best served cold. <laughs> it's going to be mighty cold for you tonight, my friend. Okay, we're back here. Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you right here at Thompson International Speedway. And we got a big one for you this week, wrestling fans. Right here from NT and T Broadband. We're doing all the broadcasting right here from coast to coast and border to border. And we got some great steel cage matches here tonight with the best of Empire Pro Wrestling steel cage matches. As you can see, going into the ring right now, Silvana Souza with his manager, Christopher Grand. And he's going to be meeting yours truly. That's right. This is the yesteryear of Empire Pro Wrestling. Some of the greatest Empire Pro Wrestling matches from around the world will be shown right here on AT&T Broadband. So tune in each and every week right here for the best of EPW. 7.30 p.m. on all your networks here in Revere, as well as in Sagas. That's right, Empire Pro Wrestling is coming to you all over. And we're going to be coming back with some great, great international names coming up this summer. So watch the newspapers for EPW, but right now on the ring, Mr. Silvana Souza a 30-year veteran of professional wrestling. Many of you people not knowing that Mr. Savano Souza has traveled from coast to coast and border to border. An old WWF veteran, that's right. 
He was there before a lot of you wrestlers ever thought about wrestling boots. You guys are still sucking on those um, pacifiers, if you will. And Mr. Savannah Souza was traveling worldwide up in Canada. Many may not know that Mr. Savannah Souza was the Canadian heavyweight wrestling champion and traveled all throughout the Canadian area. And Rocky Raymond, yours truly, coming in the ring. We all know about this guy. Have done it all in the independent network, uh, helping a lot of people into uh, professional wrestling. Many of you will see uh, the Dungeon Master, who later became the Boston Bad Boy number one, with myself and number two, the original Boston Bad Boys, not to be mixed up with some of these um, imitators here in the uh, independent network now known as club wrestling here in New England. And as you can see at ringside, we use only great names, and the referee for this match is the veteran Tony Altamori as Silvana Souza goes to work on Rocky Raymond, known then as the Playboy. That's right, the Playboy, the bad boy. And we're going to show you some clips how the Playboy became the bad boy and then back to doing all the great things in professional wrestling that he had done, breaking in a lot of professional wrestlers in the New England area. And also helping out many, many, many people coast to coast with wrestling. And right here, Savannah Souza put the boots now to Rocky Raymond, the Playboy. Uh, this match is sanctioned and supervised by EPW, as you can see the big thumb going down in the throat of Rocky Raymond. As Mr. Savannah Souza, as we were getting back to his uh, professional wrestling career, as you many well know, the Canadian heavyweight wrestling champion wrestling for Al Tom Coho in the strap up there, as well as many, many other areas in Canada, as well as the Grand Prix area with Mr. Dupree. And Mr. Savannah Souza then went on, came back, one of the first people in the area to get into the Worldwide Wrestling Federation, known then uh, President Willie Gilsenberg, as well as many of the others. And he has been down in Texas as well and wrestled for the real NWA, um, Mr. Black. Blackbird, I believe, or Blackstone, I'm sorry, uh, that's a correction. And Mr. Savannah Souza's uh, then down there, wrestled with such great stars, uh, King Kong Bundy, who was down in Texas at the time, of Savannah Souza, as well as Devon Eriks, and made his way back to the Northeastern area to take on such great stars, that's right, as Hulk Hogan, one of the first guys to step up and wrestle Hulk Hogan on a national TV taping. And Hamburg, PA, I believe, maybe was down there. But we know all about professional wrestling from all the aspects of NWA, the real NWA being down where such greats named as Gene Kanish, Mike Graham, the Funks, Briscoes. The names go on and on with the professional wrestling. We're back here at Thompson International Speedway, and Mr. Savannah Souza is making mincemeat out of Rocky Raymond, smashing his head up against the cage. Looks like he may be busted open, and that may be the hard way because many, many people that have not had a chance to wrestle inside a 15-foot high steel cage, it's a misery like no other. As you can see behind the rabbit punch in the head, and outside the ring, the manager, Christopher Grand, who had turned on me last month in Framingham in my big match with Virgil. This match was pre-recorded. Thompson International Speedway, the best of Empire Pro Wrestling steel cage matches. And tonight you're going to see the Dungeon Master. That's right, the famed Dungeon Master who was created by yours truly, as well as the many, many other matches. As you can see, a leapfrog by Rocky Raymond into a clothesline. And Mr. Savannah Souza looks like he's catching a couple of them on the end. And one more, just one more, and Savannah Souza. He sent rail, and it looks like he might be, yep, going down to that tights now for a foreign object. He may be reaching for a foreign object down there, fans. Also on this Rage in the Cage footage, you'll be seeing the Boston Bad Boys in the cage against the Mad Russians. That's right. As well as the Boston Bad Girl, Brittany Brown, will be defending her EPW championship in the cage. Right here at Thompson International Speedway as Rocky Raymond hammers the head of Savannah Souza. Pick it up now for the big scoop slam. That's 280 pounds right there. Mr. Savannah Souza. It's time to put his face into that steel cage. The 15 foot high steel cage. If any of you uh, wrestlers in New England 
that are out here watching EPW, you want to get inside that 15 foot high steel cage, or you want to reach Empire Pro Wrestling to rent the steel cage for your organization, just get in touch with all the great, great wrestlers around the area and they know where to go. EPW for the best steel cage in New England. That's right, as you can see, Rocky Raymond, Savannah Souza mixing it up right here. It's like he's setting them up here now, yeah. There's a close-up for camera one, baby. Yeah. That's a little bit of a grinding, and that's right. Right into that steel cage. 15-foot high steel cage. All steel. And now, oh, a low blow by Mr. Savannah Souza. A low blow. Can you believe it? From a veteran. And it looked like there's a lot of blood coming down the face of Mr. Savannah Souza. And Rocky Raymond busted open as well, as you can see the blood on the midsection, as well as the blood all over the forehead. And these matches are very, very severe. These are not for weak stomachs right here. Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you, as you can see. You can see Mr. Samana Souza climbing. He's going up high. He's going up, he's trying to get out of that 15, 15 foot high steel cage. Oh, it looks like Rocky Raymond there, he's got him up. Rocky, oh, he's down. He's down, that could be the end right there. That's a big fall from the top of that top rope. Back into the middle of the ring as Mr. Savannah Sousa looked like he's on Queer Street. Coming into the ring now. Christopher Grand, the coyote. Big boot to the midsection. Oh, he's going to go for a big suplex. Oh, that's a textbook suplex, baby. As you can see here. Yeah, he wants to steal. He wants to taste the mesh. Here's a dish that served hot, baby, right here at Empire Pro Wrestling. One more. Over the top or through the door. They're both a bloody mess now, as you can see. Christopher Grant and Mr. Savannah Souza. Here's a meeting of the minds. And Savannah Souza, a bloody mess here at Empire Pro Wrestling. And it looks like the referee Tony Altamari, one half of the Sicilians, as he raised the hand of a bloody Tony Altamori one half of the Sicilians with Captain Lou Albano special guest referee and still New England heavyweight champion undisputed if you will right here in Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you we'll be back with some great great more best rage in the cage from Empire Pro Wrestling it ain't over it ain't over, baby! Not by a long shot! It ain't done, Raymond! It ain't done by a long shot, you chump! Sweet Scott Azure!
We're back at Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you with the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling from Thompson International Speedway. We got a great one for you this week, fans. Oh, yeah. That first match, yours truly, Rocky Raymond feuding with Silvano Souza, the Coyote manager, Christopher Grand. And of course, we come out on top, International Speedway. Just like I pictured it. 10 years, the most consecutive of all EPW shows. And you got in the ring, you got the world famous wrestling crown with Sweet Scott Ashworth, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man too sweet to be sound. There's oh, what a very nice man. And you see the uh, fans, if you will, at ringside. right here. Thompson International Speedway, all the great things that happen up here. Oh yeah, we got the fireworks, the monster trucks, we got all the aerial activity, as well as Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you. And there's that world famous wrestling clown. Oh, he's putting on a show for all these great people up here at Thompson International Speedway. <laughs> Ten years of consecutive wrestling up here. Matter of fact, this is the anniversary show. Ten years in the making with EPW. Traveling up to Thompson Speedway every year up there. Family night, as well as their Fourth of July festivities year to year. As you see Sweet Scott Ashwood putting the hammer down on the world famous wrestling clown. And you're gonna enjoy the great, great wrestling this week. We got some great, great wrestling from Empire Pro Wrestling the oldest section independent professional wrestling in all of New England. Often imitated but never duplicated. Oh yeah, they're all around. Everybody wants to be a wrestling promoter these days. If you want the best, forget the rest and watch Empire Pro Wrestling. That's right, each and every Friday night, 10 o'clock to 11, one hour of great professional wrestling. No, we're not gonna talk on the stick for an hour and talk to you about all the storylines. We're going to give you some great action, as you see right now. Sweet Scott Ashworth doing laps in the ring now as he's checking out those ropes now as the world-famous wrestling clown from the big top. Outside the ring, sort of uh, watching from the outrigs here as he's going to buy the legs now as the world-famous wrestling clown. Oh, a double leg pickup now as you see Sweet Scott Ashworth. Oh, that'll get the back of your back. Oh, yeah. And the crowd loves the world famous wrestling clown here on this beautiful summer night here at Thompson International Speedway. Changed my life, oh yeah, many, many moons ago. On a very, very nice summer night at Thompson International Speedway, that's right. Rocky Raymond, one of the most favorite places to wrestle in my illustrious career, of course. Coming up here once a year and wrestling for all these great fans and Thompson as well as Webster and all the local towns. We got the, uh, all the monster trucks up here, the fireworks, they come up with all sorts of activity. As you saw in the opening of the show, they even parachute down. Start the show off with a couple of parachuters. And there's that world famous clown now. Hey, the concession is open, don't worry about that. Plenty of great food up here at Thompson International Speedway too. And they love this clown here. They just love the clowning and the antics of the world famous wrestling clown, as you can see at ringside. The incredible Sarah. And I believe, I believe the time she put the bell that night was not Cy Coco. No, no, no. That would be Hamburg PA. The time she put the bell was Johnny Whistler. That's right. We call him the Whistler because he hits that bell like a. Uh, like he hits the dinner bell. He weighs about 450. And the world famous clown now trying to get the crowd behind him now, calling over now as the world famous wrestling clown winds it up now. Winding it up on Sweet Scott Ashworth now. He's hooking it in real deep now and pulling it down now. 
He's clowning around now with Sweet Scott Ashworth. Oh, yeah, look at the flamboyant tights on the, the sweet one, if you will. He got flames coming up the side. He's got a big, big, big pair of lips on the back of his tights. Oh, he flips them over right there now. Put the pressure on the wrist and three parts of the elbow as well as the upper tricep. It's the world famous wrestling clown now putting the pressure on three parts of the arm. And don't forget our referee this evening at Thompson International Speedway, the world famous Tony DiMaggio, the veteran referee here at Empire Pro Wrestling. He's seen some great battles. Oh, he poked him in the eye there, wrestling fans. Oh, that could be very devastating when that thumb goes into the Irish. And Sweet Scott Ashworth now looks like he had a couple of bruises before he got in the ring. He got him winding him up. Oh, what a big chop now by Sweet Scott Ashworth. Oh, yeah, and there goes another knife edge. And the world famous clown is sent bailing out of the ring. Wow. Sweet Scott Ashworth, he means business here at Empire Pro Wrestling. The sweet one, if you will. Oh, yeah. He's not going to get the admiration of this crowd. No siree. They're all for the world famous wrestling clown. You know that top turnbuckle now, as you can see the uh, effect of Sweet Scott starting to wear out the clown. Oh, big super kick now by Sweet Scott Ashworth. Here we go with the pose, and there's that inexperience of some of these wrestlers when they should be going in for the cover. This is not bodybuilding. Just a two count now as the world famous clown puts his foot on the rope. Breaking up the count now as uh, Tony DiMaggio, the third man in the ring, if you will. Oh, down on the inseam now as Sweet Scott Ashworth draping that leg on the bottom rope. And uh, there's that timekeeper. Can you see him? There he is. 450 pounds of twisted seal and sector pail. That's why we call him the whistle. Oh, he puts the boot down into the inseam now. And the world famous wrestling clown is feeling the effect of that one. And Sweet Scott just dancing around, thinking he's at a nightclub. Look at those flames going up the side of his tights now. Oh, double leg pickup now by the world famous clown. And he returns one on his own. Talking about fair play right here. We're at the world famous Thompson International Speedway where the cars are going around the track. Monster trucks. We got it all right here. It's a family fun night. Where else would you want to be? With the great, great, great show that we have right here for you this week on KBLA TV. That's right. And I'm the voice of Empire Pro Wrestling, often imitated but never duplicated. It's Rocky Raymond. That's right. There he is. There's the Whistler. I told you he's a big boy. That man could put some pancakes down. I hopped through him out one week. He ate about 17, 18 pancakes. 22 or 23 sausages. And he was drinking the syrup. And Sweet Scott Ashworth now, he's trying to get the crowd behind him again. Let's get to the wrestling, boys. And the clown, he finds it pretty funny. Oh, there he goes, he put the boot to the side of his head. He didn't like that one too much. And it's Sweet Scott Ashworth putting the boots to him, hot and heavy here. Jumping jacks, I agree, absolutely. And Tony Demise, you don't know what to make of this match. And off the ropes now, it looks like, oh, he finally hits him with a clothesline. Very devastating, and he's gonna drop a big elbow now down on the world famous Dizzy Clown at this point. And he's off those ropes again. Oh, nobody home. And it looks like the clown tried to uh, get out of the way of that big flying elbow by Sweet Scott Ashworth. Oh, Sweet Scott's been around the territory for many, many moons now. Wrestling all the big names, whether it be Superfly Snooker, Greg the Hammer Valentine, many, many more. This man's been in the independent network for many, many moons. And he's getting rolled back in the ring now by the world famous wrestling clown. 
And it looks like he's going up to that top rope now. He's going up for that high, high elevation. Oh, looks like he got caught on that top rope. Oh, a big move now. A big gorilla slam off the top rope by Sweet Scott Ashworth. This could be the beginning of the end for the clown. He got clock clowning around on that top rope. Oh, that's a sloppy cover. Don't be foolish. Oh, the arrogance of Sweet Scott Ashworth. That could have been a cover if you put a lateral press on and hooked the leg. And ho, oh, a big. Oh, it looks like he stuck it right into his arms, Apple, with a shuka. That's a judo move. Ho, oh, and another shuka right to the throat now. He's working on the lyrics and the Adam's apple area of the world famous wrestling clown and he's putting those heavy boots to the midsection and he's still trying to look for the admiration of the crowd into that corner buckle now and he's reeling in home nobody home now schoolboy it's all over another victory and there you have it for our match here at Thompson International Speedway. As the crowd goes crazy here, we got a partisan crowd. We got about 14,000 plus here. Oh, he's making the crowd go wild here. And they love the crowd here at Thompson International Speedway. Oh, 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 yeah, we're back better than ever. That's right, it's the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestle coming at you every Friday night at 10 o'clock to 11. So get your grandmother out of the kitchen, get your sister off the phone. That's right, it's Rocky Rayman and he's back better than ever. Watch the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestle on KBLE TV right here in Revere. So be there and remember... You know, it's not just here up here, so give one great round of applause for wrestling to extreme and international speedway here in Sasha. Come on. One, two, three, give it up. Come on, let's go in there. Hey, Dean, you guys better go home and get a blanket. You're going to need to go with you. Come on, where's your love? Come on. Give me love. for the two stream pro wrestling championship okay this is gonna be a big one Atlanta Georgia he is the cousin of Bob he is the son right here for Jonathan Bagwell
the pandemonium here at Thompson International Speedway. I can hardly hear myself with these fans that go crazy over Jonathan Alexander Bagwell. I can hardly hear myself. Unbelievable fans. He is the two extreme pro heavyweight wrestling champion. Let's have a big round of applause for the monkeys. The crowd is going crazy here, Empire Pro Wrestling. The crowd is going unbelievable. The pandemonium is unbelievable. The wrestling here is unbelievable. Pierre's defenseman, Pierre the Mountie, the New Age Quebecer here at Empire Pro Wrestling, defending his hardcore championship here tonight at the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling here at Thompson International Speedway. There's the bell fans. Here's all the action. I'm going to go horse on this one. I can hardly understand the crowd is going wild here. Unbelievable action here with this championship match you've seen it all so far. The Steel Cage, as well as the world famous wrestling clown, entertaining all the youngsters here tonight. And in the ring right now, we have Alexander Bagwell. The stuff, just the stuff. He has nothing to do with the buff. He's just the stuff. That's it. And you can see he's in very good shape. And you can see the side of this bohemian. This 310 pound New Age Quebecer, the new generation. He's doing push ups now. Oh, he looks like he's going for the gravy train, this kid. Save your strength for the match. I just see Bagwell banging out a couple. These two men look to be uh, pretty well big and fit here. Look at the size of those guns. And the crowd clearly loves Alexander Bagwell. And they're posing back and forth here like a bodybuilding contest. It says on the marquee, professional wrestling. As you see the great, great, great physique on Alexander Bagwell. Can't take it away from the youngster. But you're gonna have a little more than that. They gotta have a little Jillian ability to put on boots and tights here at Empire Pro Wrestling. The night of extreme here. Ten year anniversary right here for EPW. Oh yeah, 14,000 plus right here. Oh yeah, they had the monster trucks, they got it all, the parachutes, the fireworks, they got it all. And at the end of the night, they have the big demolition derby, oh yeah. Hard elbow now as Pierre the Mountie and Alexander Bagwell as the Mountie comes up with a top wrist lock now. Sending Bagwell down to one knee. Oh, big boot to the midsection now. That's keeping you grounded right there. That's gonna be a size 17 boot. High, high, high intensity now in this match. This is for the championship now as Bagwell reverses it now into a hammerlock as the Mountie comes up with a snap there. Oh, look at the size of the crack on the back of his head. He cracked it with that size 17 boot. Sensing him in now for a big deep body slam. And the Mountie, these wrestlers, they really want to get the admiration of the crowd. As he goes in for a lateral press now, but that's just not going to be enough. And he goes in with the reverse headlock now as he's Still posing, look at his biceps. And he goes in with an armbar now as Pierre the Mountie. Look at the size of those guns, they gotta be 20 inches. 
And Alexander back with, whoa, we got clock with that one. He took it on the side of the neck. There's that inexperience when you turn your body in. You're better off taking it on the chest and sit on the side of the head, my friend. And it's Pierre Lamont in the corner now with Alexander Bagwell now as our referee Tony DiMaggio now putting the count on the Mountie as he laid one deep into the midsection of Alexander Bagwell. And another one deep into that midsection now. And with those sit-ups come into effect, if you do 15, 20 of them, it's not going to work, but if you get into the 500 and 1,000, Get those hot six packs ready because you got guys like the Mountie hitting those forearm shivers and deep boots into the midsection now as he's got that long, long six foot seven leg up across the esophagus of Bagwell now going in with a deep choke hold with a size 17 boot. Oh, look at that move right there. As he kicked that top rope as Bagwell draped his arm over the rope. That'll hurt you also, fans. And Pierre the Mountain now posing now. Irish whip off the ropes now. Going in now, looks like trying to go for sunset flip now. Just a two count now, as you see the greenness in uh, Bagwell. And he comes up with a close line of his own, but you gotta learn that sunset flip, my son. And he's going in now for a little more posing. The admiration of the crowd, all these glory hounds here. And he's going up again. I gotta tell you, this is not bodybuilding. This is professional wrestling. And they're going back and forth now with the double biceps. And our referee, Tony DiMaggio, is trying to get these. Oh, a big kick to the face now as Pierre the Mountie starts to rearrange those uh, facial features of Bagwell. Oh, a big shoulder tackle now, sending Bagwell reeling now. It looks to be that uh, the Mountie may have uh, close to 50 or 60 pounds on Alexander. Over the top rope now, as you can see, Alexander Bagwell. And Pierre the Mountie outside the ring. It looks like he's going to really uh, take it to him here. Oh, it looks, it maybe he's setting him up for that big power bomb across the table. Oh, the devastation! Pierre Lamont is slamming him right through the table. Can you believe it? Unbelievable wrestling fans. He's trying to make a ham and cheese sandwich out of him. He's got the yellow tights on for the mustard. He's got a chair now. He's got a chair now. Watch him. Oh, he swats him across the back with that folding chair. This man is devastating. That's why they call this the Hardcore Championship here in Empire Pro Wrestling. It's unbelievable action, unlike any other independent in all of New England. The oldest section. And I'm the voice of Empire Pro Wrestling, often imitated but never duplicated. It's Rocky Raymond. A big deep slam now by the Mountie. It looks like he's going up for that big move. He calls this one the Air Pierre. He's going up. High elevation! Oh, nobody home! And it looks like Alexander Bagwell slipped out the back door with barely enough time. That would have been devastating, fans. The mountain looks to be winded. Schoolboy! It's all over! We got a new champion! We got a new hardcore champion! Alexander Bagwell is just upset the veteran Pierre the Mountie. Unbelievable action here on the best of the best from Thompson International Speedway. Unbelievable action here, fans. Can you believe it? A new hardcore champion here at Thompson Speedway. 10-year anniversary of Empire Pro Wrestling. 10 consecutive years with a partisan crowd with all the great action here. Unbelievable.
The crowd loves Bagwell. And maybe it was a little dance. It's Alexander Bagwell taking the championship home. What an upset here at Empire Pro Wrestling. And more great action to come. More great action to come. Unbelievable fans. And here we go with some great fireworks here at our festivities here at the 10 year anniversary of Empire Pro Wrestling. How many of you like to Unbelievable away. action here. We got some great action to come. So get your grandmother out of the kitchen, get your sister off the phone, get your brother off the computer, get the cookies in the oven, get the milk going, and have some great, great action here on the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling. KBLA TV brings you all the best independent wrestling. What a beautiful fireworks show on our 4th of July, 10 year anniversary, Empire Pro Wrestling. The best of the best is coming at you. I'm the voice of Empire Pro Wrestling, Rocky Raymond, often imitated but never duplicated. You'll see us each and every week from 10 to 11. So tell all your buddies, all your wrestling fans throughout the area, if you want to see some great independent wrestling, watch the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling. Each and every week, we're going to have some great matches from all the wrestlers. It may be some hardcore wrestlers. In the weeks to come, we'll be seeing the great, great, great Legends 2 match coming up with Greg the Hammer Valentine, as well as Jimmy the Superfly Snuka, as well as King Kong Bundy and all the great, great legends of professional wrestling. All the great legends come to Empire Pro Wrestling. And remember, each and every week we're on from 10 to 11. Oh yeah, it's the 4th of July up here at Thompson International Speedway. We got the hot dogs cooking, we got the hamburgers, oh we got it all right here. And they're welcoming Empire Pro Wrestling's 10 year anniversary. They just love us up here. And we got a great matches to come. You're going to see the wonderful ladies of Empire Pro Wrestling. The Boston bad girl, Brittany Brown. She's going to be defending her Empire Pro Ladies Championship. Oh, yeah. There's going to be some more great matches. So hold your sheet and enjoy this great festivity of fireworks. Where else can you get a fireworks show in the middle of a wrestling show? Right here at Empire Pro Wrestling. That's right. And we're going in for the big coup de gras right here, fans. All the beautiful fireworks. And how about a great applause for the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you. All the great festivities you can see in the weeks to come. Thompson International Speedway, there's a picture of that beautiful sign. And all the beautiful cars going around the track. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, we're back, baby, better than ever. Oh yeah, we've been around from coast to coast and border to border, so I want you to watch Empire Pro Wrestling, the best of the best coming at you right here at KBL ETV right here in Revere. 
Oh yeah, I've been talking to my friend, the American Dream, down in Florida, baby. He's up here on TNA doing the bionic elbow, baby. And I want you to say one thing to all you people out there. Rocky Raymond back better than ever, so get your grandma out of the kitchen, get your sister off the phone. Watch the best of Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you each and every Friday night from 10 to 11. Oh yeah, baby! I'm here in Thompson Speedway today, Sunday, September 1st. You know what? I got the belt. I'm gonna leave with the belt. Ramblin' Rose, you think you can take me? Good luck, because it's one, two, three for you, baby. Empire Pro Wrestling coming back with a ladies championship match with the Boston Bad Girl attacking the Ramblin' Rose before the belt. That's one of her favorite tactics we've seen it over and over again as she drapes her across the top rope and swings shots her into the middle of the ring now. And she left that hand signal. It's not a directional to take a left or a right either. That's telling you right where to go. Off the ropes now. Big knee in the midsection now. Sending the Ramblin' Rose railing now. Unbelievable action, as you can see, it's Thompson International Speedway, the best of the best, right here. And the Boston Bad Girl now got on a big choke hold now, as she's gonna drape high, high into the air now, and throwing her vertically down into that canvas now. It's the Boston Bad Girl with one of her devastating moves. Oh yeah, that's one of her favorite moves, where she picks you up by the throat and throws you down laterally on the back of your spine now. Irish whip into the corner now. As you see the rambling rose, her head snapping back. Oh, she's up on that top rope now. Watch out for her, watch out for the sneaky little robbler. Oh, a clothesline now. As you can see, this little dwarf type lady wrestler, a little top heavy. Watch out you don't fall over. As she whip, oh, a cartwheel, can you believe it? I wouldn't have believed that one unless I saw it, fans. As she catches Brittany Brown off guard into that corner again now. Oh, she goes in with a big shoulder tackle now. It's a little, little troll robbler. As she's hitting her now and with a shoulder tackle now. As she goes up on the top rope now with that. Watch out for that dog now. It might be a little tight, might be a little unadjustable here. A little uncomfortable now with a big kick to the side of the shoulder. Sending the Boston bad girl reeling now. Down onto that cement. It's not a hardwood floor. It's a cement ground here at Thompson Speedway. But look at that Boston bad girl, the strength of her, as she just shrugs it off. No, there's no chimes out, Boston bad girl. No, no, no. This is professional wrestling. As she looks, she's a veteran. Now look at her taking the count. She's taking the full count now. She's breaking up the count. She's gonna get another count now because she's gonna get more time outside the ring. That's why she's the champion. She's the veteran here in the independent network. And our referee, Cookie Crumble, the biz. She's taking care of the biz here at Empire Pro Wrestling. A 10-year anniversary here at Thompson International Speedway. Oh, yeah. That's where I met the Boston bad girl, right up at Thompson International Speedway in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. And you can see Cookie Crumble backing off the rambling rose as she's trying to take a powder now up on the top rope now as she wants to take a little break in the action maybe that bong bothering her a little bit 
Wow, she's kind of top-heavy now. I know that uh, basically that upper power can be used in the Greco-Roman type style of wrestling. And they're in for a test of strength now as the Boston Bad Girl clearly has the leverage over her. Oh, she walked in now. And she's winding her up as she stepped into that move. And they're going back and forth now. Watch out. Oh, she tipped her over right now as she twisted over the tall, tall six foot two girl in the Boston Bad Girl. With the momentum with those little shot legs. She's stretching her out now. And you can see the experience of the Boston Bad Girl picking up that uh, shoulder. She won't stay in this one very long. There you go, Irake. Right across the eyes of the Ramblin' Rose with a double hair full of hair. And she's choking her on that second rope now. And Cookie Crumble now trying to do some officiating. Oh, she stepped in with a spinning leg dive. As the Ramblin' Rose with a double leg pick up. Oh, don't go there. Oh, no. Oh, a big headbutt now down into the midsection now of Brittany Brown. The ladies EPW champion finding herself on the canvas. And a second headbutt now. And Cookie Crumble rolling her in now for a sunset flip. Just the two count now as Cookie Crumble signaling uh, uh, timekeeper. The Whistler. You saw him earlier. He weighs about 450. Big monkey flip now by the Brittany Brown, the ladies champion. And Ramblin' Rose really, really starting to feel this one. And the crowd, she keeps giving them the signal and they're throwing foreign objects into the ring now. And here's another one of her favorite moves, a double hair pickup. And you can see Cookie Crumble now, I don't know if she can see the handful of hair as she trying to tell her. Oh, there's that rolling neck breaker now by Brittany Brown. That was Kurt Henning's move. Like I said, that was Kurt Henning's move. And a snap man now by the Boston Bad Girl. And she's going up to that top rope. Look at the agility of Billy Devin, six foot two. Look at she goes up there like a cat. Double axe handle, but nobody home. The Ramblin' Rose rolls out. Oh, she caught her with the X Factor. Oh, to no avail now. Oh, a Hissagari by Ramblin' Rose. She caught it with that Hissagari. Just a two count now, the unbelievable ability of Brittany Brown, the veteran. She's been around the wars of this world of professional wrestling for a very, very long time. Oh, she caught her off guard now. There it is, the night of the school boys. Catches the match here. Brittany Brown catches the championship as usual, and she gives him another signal. I told. Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you with the best of Thompson International Speedway. As you can see, El Mascarado attacking Flying Brian Walsh way before the bell. And he's going in hunting heavy now. And he got a side headlock now on Flying Brian Walsh. And he whips him into the rope now. One shoulder tackle now into a drop down. Oh, to a big monkey flip. Look at the agility of Flying Brian Walsh. What a great leap, frog. Sending El Mascarado real now. Irish whipping to that corner. Oh, he's going up now. This might be the old fashioned 10 count. The crowd wants it. 
Oh yeah, the ring of the bells. And there's our referee, the tall grabbler, Tom Tail. Irish whip now into that corner now. And here he comes, flying by, Walsh is flying. Home. Nobody home. Brian, Brian Walsh just blew the coop. And El Mascarado with a heavy boot to the back of the head. Oh, it looks like it's going in for the Iron Sheik's move, the camera clutch. This action is so fast and furious. Big flying drop kick now by El Mascarado. This match is a battle for the number one contenders. Light heavyweight championship match. Well, there you go for a big flying head scissors. He's got up there. There's that aerial ability of this Puerto Rican superstar, El Mascarado. Outside the ring, you've got that coyote, Christopher Brand. As flying Brian Wall shoots him with a big flying elbow. Looks like a double chicken wing here. Looks like a chicken wing suplex now on El Mascarado. Oh, that'll shake up your taco. Oh, just a two count now as this Puerto Rican superstar snuck out the back door. Oh, flying Brian Walsh, he's got a great background. Oh, watch out, he held on with that one. Shooting him in again now. Oh, a leg trip now by this coyote, this grobbler, this gray-haired grobbler. And Cookie, the crumble, the biz. She's just a two count now as El Mascarado going in deep now. Oh, what a deep body slam now. Looks like he's going up for that high elevation. Flying Brian Walsh has a great background in the WWF as well as wrestling overseas in England. And El Mascarado is going up for the big one now. Oh, he got him on the top up now. Oh, right down on the small of the back. And he comes back with a big body slam now. This match is Fast and furious here and the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling. He's going up again, El Mascarado. Flying body press, holy oh, rolls him over. Unbelievable action here on the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling from the Speedway. And I'm Rocky Raymond, the voice of it all. We'll see you next time on KBLE TV from 10 to 11. Get your grandmother out of the kitchen, get your sister off the phone, and watch the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling for the best independent professional wrestling you see in all of New England. See you next time, wrestling fans.